Okay, so uh, here we shall explain some examples of integrals using trigonometric identities. So suppose we are being asked to find the integral of cos cube x dx. So now there is one trigonometric identity which we can use the trigonometric identity that can be used here that is we know that cos 3x that is equals to cos 3x equals to uh, four cos cube x minus three cos x Okay, and we know that sine three x equals to three sine x minus four sine cube x. Okay, so so therefore, uh, this cos cube x cos cube x that can be written as three cos x plus cos three x, the whole divided by four. So therefore, this we can solve it as, uh, this will be integral three by four cos x plus one by four cos three x into dx. So this we can write it as three by four integral cos x dx and plus one by four integral cos three x dx. So now we know that, um, integral cos ax dx so that will be uh, where a is some constant suppose so integral cos ax dx so that will be sine ax by a plus c so therefore this will be 3 by 4 sine x then plus this will be 1 by 4 into uh, sine 3x by 3 plus c. So this will be equal to 3 by 4 sine x plus this is 1 by 12 sine 3x plus c. So this is the answer for this. Similarly, we can solve one more example based on the trigonometric identities. It is... Uh, Suppose if it is asked to find the integral sine 5x into cos 2x dx. So then we know that uh, we know that there is some rule. We can write that rule. That is uh, the rule is that suppose we know that sine a plus b plus sine a minus b if we add them then we will get 2 sine a cos b so then um, so therefore this sine a sine b sine a sine b that we can write it as 1 by 2 into sine a plus b plus 1 by 2 into sine a minus b One by two into sine a minus b. So, therefore, here this we can write it as. So, this trigonometric identity we have to use here. So, this we can write it as half of. Uh, this will be the integral of half of sine a plus b. So, a we can take it as this 5x and b we can take it as 2x since it is sine a sorry this will be sine a cos b this thing this is wrong here there is something wrong here this will be cos 
so b cos b so then uh, this we can write it as half of sine a plus b means it is 5x plus 2x <clears throat> plus it is half of sine a minus b so it is 5x minus 2x into dx so this will be the half of the integral sine 7x dx plus this is half of integral sine 3x dx so then uh, this we can write it as half of so now we know that the rule is that integral integral sine ax dx so that is equal to minus cos ax by a plus c so this formula we have to use here so that is half of minus cos 7x by 7 then plus half of this is minus cos 3x by 3 so this will be equal to Um, so this will be equal to minus 1 by 14 cos 7x minus and here one in the constant of integration also we should add and so minus 1 by 14 cos 7x then minus 1 by 6 cos 3x plus c so this is the answer Thank you.